Hello. In 1851, Georges Eugène Haussmann, a French government official, was tasked by the then President Napoleon, soon to become Emperor Napoleon III, to modernise Paris. The population of the French capital had doubled since 1815, with no increase in its area. The overall aim was to reduce overcrowding and improve traffic circulation, sanitation and water supply. Napoleon himself was very hands-on. A huge map of Paris was installed in his office, marked with coloured lines where he wanted new boulevards constructed. And he and Haussmann met every day to discuss progress on the various individual infrastructure projects underway. To accommodate the growing population and those displaced as land was cleared for new boulevards and squares, 11 surrounding communes were annexed and the number of arrondissements increased from 12 to 20, in the process enlarging the city to its modern boundaries. Tens of thousands of workers were hired. An aqueduct was built to deliver clean water from the Van River in Champagne to a large new reservoir, and hundreds of kilometres of pipes were laid to distribute fresh water throughout the city. A second network was built using less clean water from the Ork and Seine to wash the streets and irrigate the new parks and gardens being constructed. The Parisian sewers were completely rebuilt. Pipes were installed to distribute gas for thousands of new street lights. In the city centre, hundreds of old buildings were demolished. 50 miles of wide new avenues connected the city's central points. New apartment buildings fronting these avenues were built to a uniform height and to a similar design in cream coloured stone, producing the distinctive signature homogeneous look of Parisian boulevards. Impressionist artists Renoir, Manet, Monet, Degas and Pizarro all painted the new boulevards of Paris. This is the Boulevard des Capuchins, painted by Claude Monet in 1873. A bird's eye view from the studio of Monet's friend, photographer Felix Nador, a scene catching something of the hustle and bustle of Paris. Camille Pizarro captured the Boulevard Montmartre in spring 1897 and the Avenue de l'Opera the following year. New parks were planned as part of the overall scheme, inspired by London's green spaces. Napoleon had spent a long time in exile in London, and the Bois de Boulogne on the west of Paris is Hyde Park writ large. This is the Lower Lake and the Grand Cascade. Vincent van Gogh painted strollers in the Bois de Boulogne in 1886, and these cyclists enjoying the park appeared in Vanity Fair in 1897. The Bois de Vincennes to the east of Paris, this is the Temple of Love, has a nudist zone. To the north of the city was the Parc des Buttes Chaumont and in the south Parc Montsouris. Paris's older existing parks, including Parc Monceau and the Jardin de Luxembourg, were given landscape makeovers and replanted. Smaller parks and gardens were created in each neighbourhood with the intention that no one would be more than a 10 minute walk from a public green space. Most of the work was completed in 17 years, but elements continued into the 1880s, during which time Paris was essentially one enormous construction site, causing considerable social disruption, and as a result, Haussmann was not universally popular. Among the main new public buildings were the railway stations Gare du Nord and Gare de l'Est, the Gare de Lyon was renovated. New town halls were built for the new arrondissement, others were refurbished. New buildings in glass and iron replaced Les Halles, the central market, and new markets were built across the city, and schools and hospitals were all refurbished. The architectural landmark was the Paris Opera, largest theatre in the world at the time, designed by Charles Garnier and now renamed the Palais Garnier. It fits no architectural label. Garnier himself called it simply Napoleon III. 
Our next time, we're going to look at the impact of modernism and the international style of architecture. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe buttons and click on the notification bell to be informed when the next video is available. Or you can subscribe by clicking on the rose window over my shoulder.